all right guys welcome back to the channel got a really quick channel update for you guys i know my last couple posts weren't exactly positive um if you check out the community tab here on youtube or any of my social media channels i haven't posted a video if you saw my last video you're probably wondering what's going on or how i'm doing and i also want to update you guys on my upcoming live streaming schedule because i know a lot of you guys say that you miss it or you don't get notifications so first of all it's gonna seem like a lot is going wrong all at once because it kind of did um my my last little clip video and pictures I posted where my eyelids swolled up so much that I actually couldn't open my right eye, I had sun poisoning really bad. As you can see, I don't tan at all. I am fine now. Um, I really don't tan. I just burn and then get pale again. So that's out. I'm fine. We're gonna make some more videos. I could go back to work if that was my only issue right now. However, it's not. So, um, last week I had an issue where all of a sudden I couldn't hear out of my left ear um, because I apparently had a hidden infection all the way up here in a root. I don't want to get too involved TMI with you guys. Anyway, it went all the way up here, around here, lost hearing in my left ear. Thank you whoever for antibiotics they are a miracle drug who allowed me to not get worse and also kind of put off surgery for a little bit so i could get my finances together <laughs> which i still kind of quite haven't done anyway uh i posted about it um i posted that i finally got meds and the one day i posted kind of frustrated with uh, the healthcare system in my country. I live in the US. I don't have insurance. And because they have to go through my mouth, it counts as like maliofacial doctor, surgeon, and no insurance covers it anyway, even if I had insurance. So I left with like a $7,000 bill and a deadline to pay it by the 22nd and an application for a care credit card. So yeah, if you have any ideas on how to deal with that, please comment down below because I could use all the help that I could get. And don't say a GoFundMe because the one of the reasons why I'm not doing a GoFundMe is because it just happens that the 23rd, which is next Friday, is Extra Life United and I will be live streaming literally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all day long as much as I can over on Twitch. I'm not sure what I'll live stream. It'll mostly be seven days to die, but I like to switch it up a little bit because the streams are so long. Last time I was live for, I don't even know. It was like 10 hours a day at least. Um, we raised over a thousand dollars. I got my jersey out from last year. They did an online edition because of COVID. They are doing it online again. So I have a couple game tournaments I'm competing in to win money for my local children's hospital. And I will be doing the live stream on Twitch to raise money with you guys. Um, through donations on Twitch and all kinds of stuff. I will have the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I will have the Zombie Skittles. Comment down below if you have any other ideas of things that I could eat and or do on my live stream during my live stream that you might want to see as a challenge for donation levels and everything like that. So I would much rather um, the support that you guys I know are going to offer that it goes to Extra Life. Um, and that it goes to my children's hospital. So yeah, that's currently what we're dealing with. A couple games have come out that I've actually waited for for a really long time. So some of the games that I want to check out either this week or next week or during the live stream, other than Seven Days to Die, of course, um, Green Hell has a new chapter, a new storyline that is a prequel to the to the storyline that I've already played through over on Twitch. Except if you've never seen that playthrough, it's no longer on Twitch, they don't host them anymore. So I think I'm actually going to play through the storyline of Green Hell again on YouTube for you guys to see and insert my original Twitch clip reactions to certain parts of the storyline. It's amazing. And then play the new chapter right after that. That way I don't want to show spoilers for a prequel when you guys probably haven't seen the actual storyline yet. Then another game that I've waited over three years to come out, Hitchhiker, finally came out. I will link the video that I did. I mean it was like three years ago or more and I thought that was the storyline was wild. I had so much fun with it. Um, at the time I think you guys really enjoyed it so 
Uh, I will be getting that one and playing through that storyline as well. And there's also a lot of different endings and everything like that. If you have any other suggestions for my live stream as far as raising money for Actual Life or just what games to play or what times to stream or, you know, I'm going to have some party games like Jackbox games and some other ones I'm going to throw in there so that you guys can play with me so that we can all hang out and have fun and raise money for a good cause and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, my surgery is actually scheduled for 5-4 so it'll be on the 4th of next month and so I will be out of commission for a little bit there um, but I'm going to actually try to make videos now and schedule them so that I have stuff updating and uploading um, during that time when I can't actually be here. So we're going to go out with a bang with this crazy live stream weekend and hopefully raise a bunch of money for the kids and then I'll have surgery and then we'll go wherever we go from there. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I feel like every time that I get going or get ahead, there's like three things that knock you back a couple more steps than you originally were. So Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys in the next one.